Uh, indeed it has and uh, I think the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, a lot of people say that voice business is dead when they look at the growth uh, numbers. If we look back to 1996, yes indeed the traffic was growing by about 15 to 16 percent. But uh, if we look forward to 2012, uh, the growth of international traffic declined to about 5 to 6 percent. And we think that will plateau uh, going forward in the next five years. However, if you look at the new minutes created, this, the size of the pie is increasing. So in, in 1996, there was about 10, 10 billion of new international traffic created on a yearly basis. And if we look in 2012, this number had increased to about 24% and should increase to about 33, 33 billion minutes uh, by the year 2018. So no, the voice is not dead. The pie is growing. But I think the important point here is that it's evolving. It's evolving to something more convergent uh, with data. And uh, I think that operators have to take advantage of this new opportunity and readjust their business model to, to be able to do so. One of the important things that operators have to address and address quite quickly is the migration to IP. Uh, we know that TDM one day will disappear, we don't know when, it will not be next year, the next two to three years, but down the line TDM will disappear and then the whole communication environment will migrate to end to an IP. So we are sure of that. So operators have no choice, they have to migrate to IP and take the necessary step to be able to support the new services that will be offered on the IP platform. Maybe voice over LTE in terms of uh, mobile uh, services, HD voice or HD video conferencing. So it is crucial for operators service providers on the local market or international wholesaler to migrate their, their networks to IP and develop their IP service offering. So I think that's one of the key things that operators have to address as soon as possible to position themselves in the new uh, telecom ecosystem. It's interesting that you, uh, you mentioned the differentiation and I think that's the core to, uh, to the objective. IDT differentiates itself by offering a full suite of service to the, uh, to the operators uh, out there to resell or to end users itself. So while we're not the typical old POTS line voice operator uh, of the 90s and the 80s and the 70s, we're offering mobile banking services, we're offering uh, maritime services for those who are out at sea, we're offering different types of communication services, international mobile top-up, in line with our typical wholesale carrier and very large prepaid calling services. So I think that we're able to afford many, many different services to a multitude of end users. Voice is our core competency simply because it affords us the opportunity for a vast end user base. So the ability for us to, to have a multitude of touch points to end users or to resellers allows us the ability to expand the potential voice revenues in offering many, many different services. Again, as I mentioned, such as the financial services, such as top up in line with the typical wholesale carrier voice services. We provide a, effectively an OTT service uh, using wholesale data to provide people free internet for their tablets, their laptops and their smartphones. So we set those devices free for people uh, from a financial perspective um, and also from a mobility perspective because uh, we provide uh, mobile data. Um, voice is the next logical step. Uh, if you have a smartphone, um, you're going to obviously communicate via voice as well as via uh, messaging and uh, increasingly uh, you'll be able to do that via IP and uh, our plan is to offer uh, those communication services, voice and text, as well as data on all devices um, in the near future.